What's going on everybody? This episode we're going to learn how to do a post request. We're basically going to give the users the ability to add a new customer to the list. This is going to be with a modal that pops up. You can type in the data, hit add. If it's able to add it to the database, it'll close and it'll be in the main list. So let's see what we got so far. Right now we just have this list with two elements and we basically want to add a plus employee but for customers instead so it'll be like new employee. So we're going to be copying some of that code and I literally like 10 videos into <laughs> this customer section I forgot to put an S, I didn't even realize that. So I probably want to fix that real quick but it's not the end of the world. Here are our customers. So what we'll do is we will take this add employee and we're going to duplicate it. So we'll say copy and then we will paste it. Let's give it a rename and this is going to be add customer. We're gonna make some minor changes. We'll change the name to add customer. And I have grown to like putting the export default right here. So it just saves us from having to type out the name twice. So I'll delete that. Perfect. Let's go ahead and add this add customer to our customers list at the bottom. So after the unordered list, we will say add customer and import it for us. The import will look like this right here. Cool. Now let's check out our site. So far it's looking pretty sweet if you ask me. Remember not to worry too much about the styling. You know, this button's over here, these are over here. By the end we wanted to have it a little bit more pretty, maybe closer to something like this but just deal with what we have for this moment. Now I just need to update it and make it say add customer versus employee. So let's go change the text, go to add customer, and anywhere we see employee, we will change it to customer. Add customer. And down here we'll say add customer as well for the title. We will change some of the form data. So we will start with the first one, which is the name. We will just say customer name. Next up we have the role, this is going to be industry. For this one I will change the label as well to industry and change the ID to industry. Great, and we're not going to need the final one which was the image for the employee. We're not using images for the customers so we can just delete this div here. Great, all right that should be a little bit better. So add customer, customer name, industry. Let's change these default values. So we'll scroll up a little bit, placeholder. Let's go with computing. And then for the next one, let's go with, I don't know, just Google's fine. So this is what it'll look like now. I'm gonna get rid of this customer here. I don't like that it's on two lines. So we'll just change this to name. Great, this is what it looks like now. So the way we're going to have the ability to add a customer, that behavior is going to be defined in the parent component. If you remember when we were working with employees, we defined an add employee function inside of the parent, and we passed that function down to the add employee modal. So it looked a little something like this. On form submission, we invoked props.newEmployee. Well now we're going to invoke props.new customer and we're going to pass in the name and the role no longer the image we don't need the image at all so let's go ahead and delete any reference to image and these name and role will update role to industry and if you don't have this code or you're just getting lost in these changes you'll be able to get it from github right after this video or actually probably by now it's up there so set industry and that will be changed down here on the set here too as well. So set industry. And we will also need to find any other reference to set role, such as in the inputs, we will change those to industry. Okay, so now we just did some basic renaming. All we need to do now is define that function that we're invoking, which is called props.newCustomer. That's going to come from customers. So let's go ahead and first pass it to the add customer. So we will say new customer is equal to new customer. So we're going to define that function and just make sure all the names line up correctly. Looks good. And right above this return, we'll say function new customer. And inside of here, let's just console log adding customer just to make sure everything is connected up together. We will go over to the all right, we already have a mistake. So we have a reference to role in the uh, form. So 
change that to industry. We have one other reference to roll in the input, which will also be set to industry. Okay, I think that got rid of all old references. I wasn't aware how much changing and updating we were gonna have to do, so I apologize for that. Add customer, and let's hit the add button, but first let's get the console open. Add, and it says adding customer and it closes. So now we just need to build the functionality to actually add that customer to the list and only close the modal if it was successful. That might take some coordinating with the parent since that's going to be where the function is executed and the fetch results are going to be able to be seen. So let's go ahead and jump into customers and we'll start working on this new customer here. So we will say fetch dot then dot then Pretty similar pattern to what we've always done, catch. And then we will define the URL right here, which is going to be base URL plus API slash customers. That's the URL going to be used inside of fetch. We're going to also need to pass in the additional object, which has additional information, such as the method, which is going to be post. The headers, which is going to be an object itself. Inside of this object, we are going to have the content type, this is going to be application slash JSON. And we can also have the body, and this will just be a call to json.stringify, passing in data. So where's this data going to come from? Well, we're going to be passing in data that was typed in over an add customer. So let's find that function call. We pass in the name and the industry, so what we can do is we can define two parameters here, name, industry, and in here we can define an object where the name comes from the name parameter and the industry comes from the industry parameter. Then we'll just pass that object to JSON stringify, which will make it a valid body for a fetch. That should be the appropriate structure for this first section of fetch. Now let's move on to the then here. This is going to have the response and like usual we will say if response is not okay we will throw a new error and this will say something went wrong. After this well we will just return the JSON. Unlike delete this will actually return JSON which is the element itself so if you look back at our post for the main customers list, we will return the customer data here. So if we want, we can say return response.json, which gives us a promise. So we then have another then, and pass in data for the parameter here, and the JSON data will be assigned to the data variable inside of here. We will assume the ad was successful, hide the modal, and make sure the list is updated appropriately. If you have no need for this data, like if you don't plan on doing anything with it, you could do that just in the first then as well. Lastly, we will just do the catch real quick. So we will say e console log e. Perfect, save, do a little bit of reformatting here. Obviously we haven't built this functionality yet, but I just wanna see if our post will actually work. So what I wanna do is first make sure all of these values are working. Forgot to say const here, then line 24. JSON should be capitalized, my bad. All right, that should be everything wrong with it. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. I say Slack industry is communication. Hit add. All right, so the post itself did not work. So let's first fix that. So let's take a look at this, the payload. We did include the name and the industry. Over on the server, we should be able to see a little bit more information. And this is literally just that stupid problem. You call this URL via post, but the URL doesn't end in a slash and you have append slash set. So you could fix append slash and set to false, or you could just add the forward slash. So let's go ahead and just change the URL because that's gonna be the easiest fix. So this is API slash customers. Let's try this again. So we'll add a customer, Slack communication. We'll hit add. And it looks like 
it says 201 created. Now we haven't updated the list functionality to show that, but we can do a refresh and we see it on our list. What this means is that our front end needs a little bit more polish, but the functionality communicating the back end and adding that data to the database is working. So that's a great first step. Now we have to control when the modal shows up and actually making the list update appropriately. So definitely stay tuned for the next video. That's where we're going to talk about how to do that. And I wanted to do it in this video, but it was a little bit more complicated than I expected. And I don't want this video to be like forever long. So we'll just do that in the next video. Stay tuned.